you know, we run a school about a half a mile from the hospital. And when we came out here, there was two little classrooms and about a hundred kids. There's now 24 classrooms, about 17, 1800 kids. I said, sister, a lot of these kids are asleep. She says, if you traveled eight kilometers walking or running with no food in your stomach, at 12 o'clock, you'd be sleepy too. So we said, well, I said, we'll have to do something about it. So we give every one of those kids their lunch every day. They get no breakfast. They get one meal when they go home to their family at night. So this lunch, as we call it, we give them is, you know, it's a great boost to them. And it helps them to come also to school. Fatima is the place where we decided to set up the first project in virtual learning. Virtual learning means that the students in, in Zambia can sit in front of their computer systems and they can see the actual teacher and, and communicate with the teacher directly into OMA. And, and the person in OMA can see the student and talk directly to the student. And it's, it, it was mind-boggling for myself to actually see it in operation. About um, computer systems and information systems. Yeah. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, Gerald Campbell, who is responsible for this equipment in the hospital, he sourced all that in England. And it's all come, it came back from Afghanistan uh, with the British Army. And he sourced it in England, and which was very lucky because we bought it at about a third of the price. There's Gerald Campbell, and there's Michael Donnelly, uh, Vincent McGuire, Andrew Montague, Dolan McBride. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the future for Jaffa Tom. We need younger people. We need that, that can come out here like me, you know, and look at the projects and etc. Like I'm 76 now, and I might as well tell you it's getting harder, but I love it. Money-wise, we'll be okay, you know what I mean. But we, we need we need somebody that knows what they're doing and. You know, you can look at these projects and say, well, that's not right, and you haven't spent the money right, and this, you know, you need somebody like that.